Now, we shouldn't be able to see exactly who those wonderful kids are because uh, I know the parents aren't always delighted to see their beautiful children on social media. Um, I'm here with, with beautiful Jennifer. We're, we're dealing directly, because it's been quite, I've seen a lot of posts and it is, as you said, it's kind of confusing to people exactly what to do about the, you know, the St. James's becoming a children's hospital and it seems very illogical to anybody with any experience of either children or hospitals or Ireland or living or dying. So. What should people do? What do you think is, is the best thing for people to do? Well, I, I think I'd, I'd take a step back first. I think the problem with this is there hasn't been a huge amount of discussion with it. It has gone on for a long time. It's gone on for years and years and years. And, and the, the general feeling is now that we just need to get on with it. That approval has been given for the site at James's. And really, look, it, it may not be perfect, but we just need to get on with it. In my opinion, this is going to be a 700 million plus euro project. It is the biggest infrastructure project that we'll see in our lifetime. And it's a hospital for it's the National Children's Hospital for the kids of the whole country and it will be there for 50, 60 years and we need to get it right. Even if it, you know, e even if it involves more discussion, more, well, we need to listen to the, to the voices of the people who, who will be using the hospital and I don't think that's happened so far. So I suppose the proposal is that the National Children's Hospital will go into St. James's in the city centre. Um, it will bring together all the three hospitals, children's hospitals that are there at the moment under one roof and there will be a centre of excellence which is it's fantastic, it's a great idea to have a paediatric centre of excellence for the children of the country. My main difficulty with it is that it's in the city centre and that will bring its own limitations. For the parents of Wicklow, um, the, the, the primary concern that I would have for the parents of Wicklow is that uh, Tala will no longer take emergency. Uh, cases. So if your child needs to go into hospital and they need an ambulance, it will now have to go straight into the city centre. It will have to bypass Tala. Tala will essentially be downgraded to an urgent care facility, which means that they will only have six observation beds, will not be open overnight, and that all uh, urgent care needs to go into into James's. So if you're if you get stuck in traffic, there will be implications to that, and that will be one of my issues. There are there is an alternative site out in Blanchardstown. Um, and the Conley for Kids lobby group are actually working really hard. They have a fantastic site, conleyforkids.ie, and if you go on there, you'll see the arguments for and against both sites. And there's also a petition there. So if you feel that this isn't the right site, that James's isn't the right site, and that you would like your voice heard, that that's a good good starting point for you to go and sign that petition. Because I'm thinking there is only you know two you know ways around this. One is if you can train your children to only be sick during non-rush hours. You know, maybe middle of the night or, or maybe the middle of the afternoon, but but certainly not anywhere between five to like you know ten p.m. Uh, ten a.m. in the morning, or between four and eight p.m. in the evening. But if you can train them to be sick in those other hours, that would be perfect. But I'm not sure that's going to happen. So it would seem, because I, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm, I, my child is grown now, so you know, it's not something that I, I'd be. I, I, I am concerned, but it wouldn't be something I'd be thinking about in that way. But when you consider anything in the city centre, like going to City World, is a pain in the yeah. butt. So the idea you, your child will be sick and you need to get there ASAP and rather than sitting in traffic waiting for your turn through the lights. So um, so we'll put up the uh, the link to the petition. I know it's um, the wonderful time in Harris is, is is now kind of taking care of this 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 area and hopefully he, he'll he'll uh, he'll see that that uh, you know it just well you know as I said I, I don't know the exact ins and outs but it seems very obvious that this is not a wise place to put something that you need to access in an emergency because that's the key to it. It's not I'm going to get my hair done or I'm going to have my teeth whitened this is an emergency so uh, we'll put up the link to the actual petition and hopefully the numbers will uh, will have an effect that's it and, and let's have a discussion on it if it's not if it's not correct or even if it is the best site i really don't think that that message has gotten out there that that the reasons i know they want to co-locate with an adult adult hospital and, and they're saying that that's critical but i haven't seen the evidence for that so let's have a discussion about it it's we have one opportunity to get this right and really we just need to put the effort in and right. do it i think your pa was was trying to sort of uh, throw it into there <laughs> everything's good you're happy with that was that did that work for you was it all right do high five High five. high five. Would you like to do a high five? Would you trust me to do a high five? <laughs> Hello. I do a high five to your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful.